um, Chris wasn't doing real well, so I called his second mom, Vicki Jamerson, and told her it's pretty bad. And she said, what can I do? And I said, I don't know. And she came up with a plan. And within two days, she had the entire football team, coaches and some close friends um, come down. They bust the kids down. It was the quarterback club, bust the kids down to Pittsburgh. They were in their jerseys. They marched in two by two. Um, of course, the hospital knew they were, I knew they were coming. So the hospital gave us the biggest room they had and, and the kids came in and, and um, uh, an anonymous person had purchased a varsity coat for Chris and they brought that down to present it to him and to give him his jersey. And um, when, when they had left, the lady that runs the front desk, she had been there for 28 years and she had said, oh my gosh, I never saw anything like this in my life. This, the love and the support that you have from your community. And I said, that's where I live. I live 15 minutes from the dam. I live in the middle of the Allegheny Mountains and I live in a tiny little town that really loves their people. And um, so it was just so heartwarming and so beautiful to be able to share my stories in Pittsburgh um, with other people that also were at the hospital a lot. And they would always tell me how blessed I am to live in such a beautiful community. And um, I really am blessed. Thank you.